Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator who needs to stop recording his face because his face ruins every video he uploads. Gardner, is this good enough for you, Clayton? Is this good enough? Is this good enough for you, Clayton? Is my face obscured enough for you, Clayton? How about this, Clayton? Is this good enough for you, Clayton? Huh? You good with this, Clayton? You want me to do all my videos like this, Clayton? And with that out of the way, let's talk about why dual booting the Steam Deck is gonna suck. Now, I've been notorious for saying that the Steam Deck is a console, and that's because all evidence points to the fact that it is. See, the Steam Deck is an entirely custom design meant to play video games. And sure, they are PC games, but it's a subset of PC games. Why a subset? Because for a game to work on the Steam Deck, it's gonna need to be compatible in some way with SteamOS. And SteamOS is the Steam Deck's custom operating system built from the ground up to make gaming on the go a better, more performant and more comfortable experience. But I've seen a lot of comments saying, I'm just gonna install Windows on my Steam Deck. But I'm here to tell you that installing Windows on the Steam Deck will be the biggest mistake that you could make on that hardware. And before we continue, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps the show out. We're trying to hit 5,000 likes on this video. And thank you. First up, when the Steam Deck launches, the Steam Deck UI will only be available through SteamOS. And we all know that Windows is notoriously terrible to use with a touchscreen, and it's virtually impossible to use with a controller. By installing Windows on the Steam Deck, you'll be foregoing the intended and superior user experience. And even when Valve gets around to replacing big picture mode with the deck UI, it won't integrate with Windows, and it will function just as any other app would, with focus being able to be stolen by background processes, or when you're launching a game and something happens, the deck UI uh, doesn't take focus properly. Windows on the deck will provide an immediately degraded and frustrating user experience from a UI perspective, but that's not all. Have you ever accidentally put your PC to sleep while playing a game? It's a rare occasion that Windows or even the game will actually fully recover in that state. This has to do with how the power management interface was engineered on Windows, and to be frank, it's a complete mess. And I suspect that putting the deck to sleep on Windows will be problematic for a long time to come. And let's not forget about the Steam Deck's Cloud Sync on Sleep feature. If you have a network connection and you put your game to sleep, the deck will push your saved game to the Steam Cloud so that you can resume your game on another device. But will Steam for Windows know that it's running on a deck? We don't know the answer to that question, but that does raise another question. See, it's possible for a game developer to publish a special version of their game for the Steam Deck that uses less of the internal storage. You know, they produce a new build that removes some of the high-res textures that you'd never need on the Steam Deck anyway. That kind of stuff. If Steam for Windows doesn't know it's running on deck hardware, will you be able to take advantage of such space-saving builds of these games? And that brings me to my next topic. According to Valve, SteamOS should take up no more than four gigabytes of internal storage. However, a typical Windows 11 install is nearly 24 gigabytes. So Windows is about six times larger than SteamOS. And on a device like the Steam Deck, where drive space is quite limited and at a premium, that is a major issue, especially if you have the 64 or 256 gig model. And if you wanted to dual boot between SteamOS and Windows, that would leave you with much smaller partitions for your games. Let's say that you have have a 512 gig model and you partition your internal storage in half, that leaves you with 256 gigs for each OS. On SteamOS, you'd have about 252 gigabytes free. On Windows, you'd have about 230 gigs after install. But even 252 gigs with your SteamOS install might not be enough to have multiple games ready to play on your Steam Deck. And let's not forget for a second that Windows doesn't respect your storage devices. Have you ever run Windows 10 off of a hard drive? It's so slow, especially when Windows is doing whatever the hell it does in the background. I mean, it's honestly at a point where it's basically unusable on an old fashioned spinning rust drive. It's called thrashing, and it's something that Windows does all the time. It's notorious for it, especially when you have virtual memory enabled. SteamOS, on the other hand, is designed with the constraints of the deck's storage hardware in mind. Not only that, it's optimized for random I.O. off of the micro SD card. Meanwhile, on Windows, I'm pretty sure you're going to see a massive degradation in performance loading from the SD card, just like I did with the GPD Win 2 when comparing I.O. speeds between Windows and Manjaro off the SD. But it's not just I.O. thrashing. Windows doesn't respect your power budget either. Windows is a notorious resource hog, running unnecessary processes in the background that will seriously hamper your performance, especially on such a low-powered device like the Steam Deck. 
Things like Windows Update, telemetry exfiltration, and more, all using network bandwidth, disk I.O., CPU time, and RAM, and degrading your overall gaming performance. And Windows also lacks the custom kernel-level tweaks that SteamOS has. Things like driver optimizations for the GPU that preserve your battery life, the global frame rate limiter, TDP settings, system-wide fidelity effects super resolution, and more. Simply put, Windows isn't capable of this kind of third-party modifications, but the APIs provided by Windows are also far less stable than what Proton provides games. What do I mean by that? Well, Proton provides a versioned set of libraries that games can reliably call upon in order to execute in a predictable way. Windows, on the other hand, simply has a backwards compatibility mode that most of the time needs to be enabled manually. A game running through Proton, on the other hand, can specify exactly which version of Proton the game expects, and it can be automatically provided by Steam. Plus, all of this assumes that Windows drivers will be available by the time you get your deck. There's no guarantee that that will be the case. Windows 11, and to a lesser extent Windows 10, are closed platforms with little concern for the openness of the PC that once made Windows great. If you haven't heard about how Microsoft has slowly been curtailing the rights of its users and closing down their platform, then you must have been living under a rock. For those paying attention though, Microsoft's brazen power grabs in the PC space have been absolutely shocking. And mark my words, in a few years, you'll have to pay a one-time fee to Microsoft to install software from outside the Microsoft Store. And a few years later, you're gonna have to pay a monthly Windows subscription in order to access your Steam library. And that's why the deck ships with SteamOS. Besides the nasty corporate control that Microsoft's been exerting over your hardware, Windows is just plain worse than most other operating systems. Sure, you might mistake the fact that you have access to more games as meaning Windows is better, but if we've learned anything in this video, it's just how worse engineered Windows is, especially when compared to a version of Linux that's purpose-built for a specific application like gaming. So in summary, the Steam Deck has many features built right into SteamOS, from battery-saving optimizations, streamlined drivers, UI built to accommodate the hardware, and a user experience that will be leagues better than what Windows could ever hope to provide. And while yes, on SteamOS, there might be a few games missing from your library at launch, I think installing Windows on the Steam Deck will be a grave mistake, one that I hope I've dissuaded you from making on your Steam Deck. But I would like to know what you think. Do you intend to dual boot Windows or even overwrite SteamOS? Let me know in the comments below. I'm especially interested in hearing your rationale either way. I wanna give a special shout out to my friends on Patreon and my YouTube members, without whom none of this would be possible, so thank you. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you wanna help this show grow, consider using the links below to join up with the 100 plus other Linux warriors. But I think that's gonna do it for now. If you like this video, hit that like button, it really helps the show out. You can also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.